since I started searching for nice new locations in the area where I live in from something like three or four years I was always searching for a very simple scene but it was unfortunately hard to find my plan was uh, only a photo you know like a boat uh, in, in the foreground and after that the sunrise but it's not allowed to go there I was just searching for a boat in a lake I tried a lot to find something like that but what I didn't like in this photo and in this location is that it's so chaotic there were a lot of boats and not only one as I wanted after that I tried again also with Sebastian but we couldn't reach the area because it was a private place and we were unfortunately not allowed to get in one month or something like three weeks ago I saw this photo which Sebastian posted on Facebook and I was just amazed that he could finally find my dream location so I told him directly that I will definitely go there with him after checking the weather forecast and making sure that we will hopefully have a beautiful colorful sunrise we drived one hour to reach that nice place but as we reached the place I needed 10 minutes to take a break because I was totally exhausted and I didn't feel my legs anymore not like Sebastian who doesn't have two gifts like me <laughs> so good morning everyone we made it after one hour of driving me and Sebastian but I'm totally tired Sebastian not but I, <laughs> I am totally tired so Sebastian started like always before me <laughs> and yeah we we had to drive for one hour and my legs are <laughs> totally yeah not working anymore so Sebastian was here last time alone and he made a photo here of this spot and I saw that photo on, face on Facebook and I say that I want to come here again and that's why we are together again because I don't know where is the place but we went together me and Sebastian so the Sun is so I still have something like 20 minutes for sunrise maybe I will try to start now and I will try to make like blue our photo I'm not sure if I will stick with the same composition maybe I will try to take a photo up here and I will try also to take a photo down here so maybe I will try to take two photos two different compositions and if it doesn't work maybe I will stay I will stick with the same composition here somewhere near Sebastian <laughs> yeah so so I will take off my camera and I will try before putting my tripod I will try to play with the composition and to see what would I what will I like and after that I will yeah decide which composition I will try I have my 10 20 millimeter lens obviously when I come to places like this empty places and you know you have only a foreground and there's yeah you know the lake and the sky I go always with ultra wide lenses so the first photo here my exposure is something like 1.3 or 1.2 of the second and the LEE -L -E -E stopper up gave me that after putting my 10 stop in the filter I need something like 10 minutes but or 8 or 10 minutes but I will not do like that because the light is changing so fast and I will have I I think I will have overexposed photo so that's why I will try between five yeah I would say five and six six, uh, six minutes and yeah I will see what I will have but as I said I will not try eight minutes or ten minutes because I think it will be overexposed <music> I 
I'm trying not to, to move at all because I don't want the photo to be, you know, blurry or shaky. Now I'm using 20 millimeter and not the 10 millimeter because I want to remove other pots. As you can see, I have one here and I have one there, so I want to remove them. That's why now I am 20 millimeter and I will try to go down and to use the uh, 10 millimeter so to have, you know, an ultra wide photo with the pot on the foreground and yeah, I will see. <laughs> I'm trying right now is that I'm taking only 30 seconds exposure and, but I'm taking more than one now I am on I think the yeah number 10 or something like that so I'm taking more than one photo and I will blend all of them together so I will have more movement in the clouds and at the same time I will take the best one for the foreground for the boat because as I think it's a little bit moving not so much but i will try to take the best one without any movement in the boat i like that we have different ideas i'm taking uh, the camera up to have you know the sky in the photo and not the foreground obviously the boat but Sebastian is taking the camera down to oh taking the camera down to have the foreground here and with the boat already my camera is out <laughs> <laughs> What I like in this photo more than the first one is that by using the lens at 10 mm I am giving more space for the nice colorful sky. And at the same time I have now more clouds moving in the photo. The only one thing that I hope I could change in photography is to make sunrises or sunsets last longer. After only 15 or 20 minutes of sunset, we decided to pack our cameras up and to go back home. At the end, I just want to say thanks a lot for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next time.